Hey guys, welcome to Cameras and Cats. Today we have a very special episode. We're gonna be doing film soup and I have a bunch of concoctions set up and I'm gonna go through each one and show you guys what I put in the bowls and what film I'm gonna soak and then I'll show you the photos. Okay, so here are all of my different bowls. And for those of you that don't know, film soup is basically just where you soak your film rolls in some kind of liquid so that it changes the way that your photos turn out. And so I have a bunch of different concoctions here and we're gonna be doing a mixture of 35 millimeter and 120 film. And all of these rolls I've kind of shot during quarantine. We've been like at the house since March and so that's like four or five months. And so it's just kind of a bunch of photos that I don't really care about they're not like for specific photo shoots they're not for paid shoots or anything like that so you know i'm not super attached to these photos now i'm just going to go through and tell you guys what i'm soaking each one in in this first bowl here we are doing a 35 millimeter film roll and we're just using plain green tea this is the brand i put two tea bags in here for extra strength and in the second bowl here we have a mixed berry green tea it's just a plain like Lipton, but I figured it would have kind of more of like a reddish flavor to it or a reddish color to it. And we'll be soaking this 120 film roll. And I'm not sure how the 120s are going to turn out because they are pretty tightly wound. So I'm not sure if like the liquid will actually get into the film, um, but I figured I'd try it anyway. And then in this third bowl here, we have just hand soap. So it's Castile soap, like the eucalyptus flavor. And so it's a little bit of hand soap, not a whole lot. Um, and then I'm gonna sprinkle some sea salt in there. That The sea salt usually puts like kind of speckles on the film, so that'll be exciting. And this one will be a 35 millimeter film roll. We are moving on to bowl number four, which is red wine vinegar. And this is a 35 millimeter film roll, Kodak 200. And then the next bowl is just plain lemon juice, another 35 millimeter roll. And then the last bowl is green tea, this is a pretty strong green tea. It's like a mixture of like matcha and regular green tea. And so I'm hoping it'll have like a little bit more color to it. And we're gonna do another 120 roll. And I also squeeze some lemon juice in this one too. So it's a mixture of green tea and lemon juice. So now I'm just gonna pour hot water so it's not quite boiling. Like it was boiling a few minutes ago and now it's kind of cooled down. And I'm gonna pour it over all these things cause you're supposed to dilute them all with water. And so I will be doing that now. This is quite heavy. I'm gonna just put the water in the bowls first. It's still pretty hot. And then I will completely submerge all of the film rolls into the mixtures. The time has come. It's kind of scary. So the hot water is really important because apparently it kind of just like the um, chemicals kind of start to change. So make sure you use hot water and not cold water. So you have to make sure also you pull out the film later after you shoot the roll. So you can also do this before you shoot the roll. Some people will soak them before they shoot it, let it dry up, then put through their camera. But I don't really want to do that because I don't, I don't want to mess up my camera. So I already shot these rolls and I just used a little film picker and it just pulled out the leader so that that way the liquid just seeps in there and really gets into the film. Okay, I don't know if I can do it. I'm kind of scared. Just the whole film roll just dropped right in there? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm really scared to do it. Okay, are we ready? It's terrifying. Bye bye, pictures. This is so sad. I've just never done this before. And basically, you can. You can put your film in like any kind of liquid. Some people do like Gatorade, they'll do all different kinds of tea, lemon juice, vinegar, soap, 
and you can get crazy with it and try anything you want but the most important thing is that you make sure that your um, film lab can actually process that so I called the film lab I, I usually use and they can't do it because it just alters their chemicals when they're developing the film so I called around and I found another um, another lab that does it so blue moon camera and I'm gonna send my film to them and I told them about what I'm doing and Basically, I just have to let them know what I've dipped each film in so that they can kind of figure out how to deal with it. And so I made these little baggies written on there, like what kind of film it is and what I soaked it in. And this is also going to help me like keep track of what they, what they were, so that way I'll know which ones I soaked them in. And now I'm going to let them soak for 15 minutes for some of them, for the lemon juice ones and like the more acidic ones, I'm just going to do 15 minutes. And the other ones I'm going to do for an hour and then I'll probably just see how this goes and then maybe do another experiment later. Um, but I don't want to completely ruin the film or make it so it's like unusable. So we're going to start with this, see what happens. And yeah, I'm really excited to see how they turn out. I used to make sure you kind of just mix them around, stir them, make sure the liquid gets up in there. So we'll set the timer for 15 minutes. Start. 15 minutes and counting. Oh, wait. I forgot to put the salt in. Now they're all officially going. So these green teas are different colors, so that'll be cool to see how how different they are. This one's definitely more green, and this one's a little bit more brownish red. Okay, so we've been sitting here for, for about 15 minutes, and there's not really much to watch. They're just kind of sitting there. And I've been shaking them up a little bit every couple minutes. I'm kind of worried that the liquid is not really getting into the 120 film because it is like, you know, they're taped and they're pretty tightly wound. So um, it's going to be interesting to see if we get any sort of reaction out of those. But I do kind of feel like the 35 millimeters is probably going to turn out better, especially the one with the sea salt. I feel like that's going to be pretty cool. And I'm thinking the lemon juice will be a pretty cool reaction too. But I kind of wish I had added sea salt to the vinegar one. but. You know, this is my first experiment with this and I definitely am probably going to want to do it again and maybe get, you know, weirder with it and try some kind of other liquids or, or mix and match. And I'm actually going to, I'm going to let them all sit a little bit longer because I feel like they need more time. I'm just, you know, following my intuition. So I'm going to let them all sit for about an hour. Start. You know, some people soak their film for even longer. You can do like up to 24 hours, 48 hours, as long as you want. But one of my favorite photographers, Wendy Laurel, she soaks her film for one hour. So I'm going to just follow her rules because I trust her and we're going to see what happens. So now I'm just going to take each one and run it under cold water and then soak it in cold water for 15 minutes to try to get all of the chemicals and things like that off them and make them as clean as possible for when we send it to the lab. Okay, so it's been an hour, about an hour. So let's go wash them. So I just rinsed each of the film rolls in cold water and now they're soaking for 15 minutes in a bowl of fresh cold water and that's just going to help get the rest of the tea and chemicals and salt and things off of it. Okay, so the film rolls have been rinsed and now they're drying and in about a week I'll send them off to the lab for them to be processed. And I'll put them in each of their labeled baggies and I'll mail them to the film lab and then when I get it back I'll scan the film and I'll show you guys what photos we got with each of the rolls. And I'll be sure to label so you know like which concoction worked and which ones didn't. My prediction is that the 120 rolls probably won't have much of a reaction just because they there's no way really for the water to get into the film. Maybe a little bit around the edges, but I'm not sure anything's gonna happen. Um, with these, it seemed like the water was like really getting in there, especially through right here and in the middle. And we'll see what kind of photos we got. Um, stay tuned. I'm not surprised that I love how everything turned out. I'm always looking for ways to make my photos more unique. For this first roll, we had green tea, and you can definitely see some kind of purple and blue and yellow discoloration. It's not too crazy extreme, but you can see it around the edges. It's kind of vignetted around some of them. Definitely that purple color, which is kind of fun. I love purple, so that's great. 
And for these, you can see kind of some large liquid spots, like water stains that are a little bit discolored, so that's kind of cool too. So yeah, I think I like how this one turned out for sure. So the 120 film kind of turned out how I expected it to. The water and liquid didn't really get into the film, but it did affect the edges a little bit. So you can see some discoloration, some kind of bluish purple tones, which is always fun. And that way you have a little bit of control over it. You know you're not going to ruin your images. But I think next time I'd like to try to figure out a way to make the 120 film a little bit more extreme. For this third roll, we had hand soap and sea salt, and this one was a little bit more extreme, a lot more discoloration, and you can see some larger kind of splotchy areas, and lots of blue and purple tones. So it's definitely fun. I like how this one turned out. Especially around the edges, you can see the vignetting again, so the liquid definitely got around the edges of the film pretty well. But next time I think I would put it in a mason jar and shake it up and get that liquid really in there. But these turned out pretty fun. There's like some kind of rainbow effects happening, which I like. So I would do it again. For this fourth roll, we had red wine vinegar. And it was kind of similar to the green tea and it had kind of like a purple tone around the edging. You can see that there and some splotches going on there and some kind of red tones again, which I like. I like how these turned out a lot. It kind of has like some more intense staining. So that's definitely a fun effect. I like how that turned out. So for this last one, we had lemon juice, and I think this was definitely my favorite. I want to do this one again for sure. And I think because it's so acidic, it really altered the film. There was like little specks and lots of discoloration and larger like water stain areas. And at the bottom, you can see kind of larger blue splotches. And you can see again, kind of the speckles all over it, which is really fun. I love how these flower photos turned out. So I definitely will be doing the lemon juice again and maybe, like I said, using a mason jar and really shaking it up and getting it in there. And for this last roll of 120 film, again, you didn't really get a whole lot of changes to the film, just a little bit of discoloration around the edging. But I definitely want to do this whole experiment again and maybe do like a 24 hour soak and really get the liquids in there and see how it turns out. But it was super fun and I can't wait to do it again. Well, thanks for tuning into Cameras and Cats for this film soup episode. Be sure to like and subscribe and be nice. And you can follow me on Instagram at MilesCatherine, at the Traveling Holga, or at Cameras and Cats. And if you want to help support my work so that I can do more fun videos like this, um, you can go to my Patreon, patreon.com slash milescatherine, and I'll be sure to include all the links below. And yeah, so have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. to Nilly's channel, the channel of no arguing at all, ever. Nilly is in a great mood today, and we are just having a great time together in this moment. And he she's always saying, tries to tell me what to do. Amen. Do I look greasy? You know I don't perform well under this kind of stress. <laughs> okay, so in this first bowl here, we are doing a 35 minute I'm really scared. Uh -oh. Lula's food dish just went off. She's very excited. Time. It's our favorite time of day. It smells good. It smells like tasty tea up in this joint. <sighs> they are so loud with your flip flops. <laughs> okay. That's a bad angle. Oh. What else did I say?
was good. Thanks for tuning. My mouth's not working now. Okay. Lula, can you be more obnoxious? What is she doing now? Doing. Why are you doing that? All right, we can pause it. Clap, clap for audio.